Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate closed loop simulation of push converter in MATLAB. In case you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you will get regular updates with respect to the videos that we post. So this is a circuit diagram of a closed loop uh, boost converter in MATLAB. So this is what we're going to simulate uh, in MATLAB. Uh, the design procedure with respect to boost converter is already explained in uh, open loop simulation and uh, the video link will be provided in the description and as well as in the end screen. Please do watch it in case you have not watched it because it gives you how to choose the components and all those values. However, I'll be simulating the entire closed loop model uh, from the scratch uh, in MATLAB. So let's get started. Let's go to MATLAB. All right, uh, over here we'll be clicking on Simulink Library Browser and uh, we'll be searching for the components that we want rather than looking at these points. So it's a preferred option. So search for PowerView block that is uh, one of the most important blocks. So without PowerView, the simulation does not take place. So add that block, uh, add the voltage measurement block. And once that is done, we will be requiring a DC voltage source, which is basically the supply for our circuit. So add the ones that are there in black. Uh, so we'll be adding this. And uh, once this is done, we will be uh, requiring MOSFET. We using MOSFET and not IGBT. We can use IGBT as well, depending upon the type of application that you want it for. Um, we are not supposed to use thyristor because we need an external commutation circuit to turn it off and it again increases the complexity of the circuit and that's the reason why we don't do that so we need a pulse so search for pulse generator block so search for pulse uh, in order to trigger them in open loop we'll be using this so in closed loop there is another block i'm not going to show that don't add this for now i'll be showing that uh, later on uh, once that is done we'll be requiring a series rlc branch so search for series rlc add this block later it can be converted to inductor or capacitor based on the type of component that we we want we will be requiring a diode as well so add the uh, diode block which is there in black and uh, once this is done we will be requiring a scope in order to see how the waveform looks like uh, so search for scope uh, now comes the elements with respect to the feedback path so what all elements we want we need a constant block which is basically uh, used to uh, input the reference values with respect to our circuit and uh, we need a sum or difference block you can search by sum you will be getting uh, all of them together so you subtract and add that block and once this is done uh, we will be requiring a PID controller so we can search for it by only uh, searching by controller you will be getting it right at the top so use the ones with respect to s domain and uh, once that is done we'll be requiring a pwm generator this is what i was talking about instead of pulse generator we'll be using pwm generator output of the pa control the integral controller that we use will be fed to the pwm generator dc to dc generator and this will generate the pulses with respect to our circuit so we have added all the blocks that are required i believe so we will be placing them in appropriate positions so that uh, we can get started according to our circuit connections so uh, the MOSFET is to be rotated in this particular uh, direction and uh, power cube blocks are generally placed at the top and once this is done uh, now we will be uh, placing them uh, we'll be rotating them in the closed loop path so that uh, they look in a fashion that uh, we'll be able to understand them easily so rotate them and uh, rotate this as well so we'll be having them in this particular fashion in the closed loop uh, path this is the closed loop path now we'll start off with our connection of the circuit we'll be using an inductor so choose the value of inductor to be equal to 60 micro henry so the design procedure for choosing these values are already given in the design so please do watch it in open loop simulation of push converter so uh, we will be giving it to the mosfet switch so one of the most important things to remember is to disable the measurement port we are not using them uh, it is common uh, with respect to this version of uh, MATLAB that these are already enabled uh, with respect to the switches that are used and we'll be connecting uh, the circuit in this particular fashion and uh, we will be having uh, a capacitor so copy paste uh, the inductor later on we can change it to be a capacitor and its value is chosen to be equal to 16.44 microfarad so 16.44 enter that value and then click on OK. Once that is done, we will be connecting this in this particular fashion and uh, we will be using a resistor load. So control C, control V and uh, we will be changing it to a resistor and its value is chosen to be equal to 16 point. So its value is chosen to be equal to 16.2 ohms. Click on OK. Uh, connect this in this particular fashion. And once that is done, uh, we'll be connecting the voltmeter across the load over here. 
uh, across the resistor load that is used the supply voltage that we have chosen is 12 volt according to our design click on ok and then connect it to scope so we will be taking uh, the reference voltage so we are designing it for a voltage of 18 volts at the output isn't it enter the value that you are designing it for over here so this will be given to the positive terminal negative terminal will be given from the output voltage that is measured and once that is done give it to the PID controller give the output to of PID controller to the PWM generator DC to DC over here so this is basically D indicates duty cycle PID controller will give the input in uh, duty ratio form that is between 0 to 1 consequently uh, it generates the pulses P indicates pulses and it is in turn given to the uh, gate terminals of the switches one important point to change is uh, we'll be using an integral controller we are only concerned about uh, certain parameters because uh, integral controller proportional controller and derivative controller all of them has different functionality but you're only concerned with respect to integral controller in this case and uh, once that is done uh, click on PWM generator change the switching frequency according to our design that is 25,000 Hertz uh, 25 kilohertz uh, or that matter and then we will be uh, changing the simulation time to say equal to 0.5 seconds and then uh, we have entered all the parameters with respect to our circuit so we can click on run and check how the output waveform is you can see the waveform by double clicking on the scope so uh, we will be getting the voltage waveform and if you carefully observe we are getting it approximately to be equal to 18 volt so we can zoom them so these are the ripples the, these can be further eliminated by choosing suitable values of a capacitor so based on that we can design it for the ripples can be eliminated now how do we justify it is in closed loop so we are supposed to get an output voltage of 18 let us say I am changing the supply voltage say equal to 5 volt in this case now irrespective of the changes in the supply I still should I should still get 18 volt at the output terminals and if that is possible then we can say this is closed loop in open loop what happens if you change the supply voltage consequently the output voltage will also change isn't it so whereas in closed loop this will generate the pulses in such a way this block will generate the pulses in such a way that we uh, uh, get the output voltage uh, such that we will maintain it to the value that we have entering in the reference terminal over here so that is the logic behind this double click on the scope in order to see how the waveform looks like Rest it so you're still getting 18 volts isn't it approximately so that is how we will uh, be able to justify our statement with respect to the uh, pulse generator block so in case you want uh, it to be equal to 25 volt you can change it to 25 volt note this is a boost converter so you should always enter this value greater than the supply voltage so that is one constraint over here and once so over here we will be restoring uh, the view and uh, over here if you carefully observe we are getting so whatever value we want at the output will be entered at this point and consequently change the values of input you will still be getting the same output so that is where we will say that uh, the circuit is under closed loop operation I hope this video gives you a clear understanding of how to simulate um, the boost converter in closed loop mode in MATLAB uh, in case you have any questions feel free to reach out if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you